darlings and welcome to a new weekly vlog. Is it Monday? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it is Monday and I'm starting the week with this darling one. I am with Sophie and we are doing something very different for both of us. We are at the Suzanne Neville Couture Bridal Show. These are the kind of things we have to do now. So Sophie is of course getting married this summer. And Five months. Oh my god, I can't believe it's so soon. Yeah. So this is just a really exciting thing for us to be doing here this afternoon. We're going to be looking at the gorgeous dresses. And then we have another bridal show this afternoon at the Ritz. So very exciting, um, very exciting thing to be doing as girlies. We've already been given a goodie bag. Can we see what's inside? I'm gonna do an unboxing. <laughs> We're at home yes. house right now and it is unboxing. stunning. Show hair. What is Dry that? shampoo. Dry shampoo, nice. This brand smells so good. Lancome Genifique, I think that's an anti-aging serum. show our first ever bridal fashion show so how did you find it it was so beautiful absolutely stunning oh my goodness Soph was really analyzing the quality of the materials <laughs> with your beady eyes but they were spectacular weren't they yeah it was just I feel like I've shopped for my wedding dress prematurely now. <laughs> no, it's so wedding dress. Oh my goodness, it is divine. It is. No, I don't think. I think even if you tried on all of those, yeah, you'd still be like, "It's right. so you." Yeah, it is. It really but is. But they were some real beautiful ones. Oh my gosh, so we exciting! We found your dress, even though we didn't oh. find your dress. We found the dress that would be perfect for you. Yeah, <laughs> so many beautiful ones. We both thought it. We both were like, "That's the one." That's the one. <laughs> that is the one. So dreamy. And now we're off to the Ritz because it is the Jenny Packham show, which is going to be divine. Have you been to the Ritz before? No. Oh, so, no, so I'm beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's divine. So lovely. But yeah, we'll see you then. <laughs> using the Bobby Brown products. Yeah. Let's see how it is. Bridal fashion shows. I'm at the Langham. No, I'm not. I'm at the Lanesborough this evening. Um, Charlie is actually here for a dinner with Givenchy, and um, they've very kindly given him a room for the night. So I'm going to crash here as well. It feels really funny being the plus one. Normally, it's beauty brands inviting me for an overnight stay, and Charlie comes as my plus one. So it is very nice to have the use of this room and um, be his plus one for a change. Times are changing. <laughs> so yeah, Sophie and I have had a fabulous afternoon together. It was just such a girly way to spend the afternoon. We had the Suzanne 
Devil Show at Home House, which was divine. The dresses, oh my goodness, just so romantic, feminine, oh my gosh, very like whimsical, dreamy. Met Suzanne, she was so lovely and she spoke us through some of her favourite designs and we got to see them all up close, look at the beautiful materials. So that was magical. And then we went to the Ritz. We had, first of all, we had a makeup top up with Bobby Brown. So they did the makeup for the Jenny Packham show. We had a little bit of a bridal, I would say make under actually. So we had a really lovely lightweight base, starting off with like a glowy balm, which just pepped up the complexion. And then the girls were showing me some kind of bridal makeup hacks, like creating a really natural flush cheek with a cream blush with some moisturizer mixed in. Love that. Um, so then after our makeover, we went for afternoon tea and just, and while we were enjoying the tea, we had the Jenny Packham show, which was very different to the Suzanne Neville. So it's really nice to see two different shows. I would say the Jenny Packham dresses are a lot more kind of, they're very statement in that they've got lots of embellishment, lots of intricate sequins and details, lots of sparkles. There are a couple of like periwinkle blue dresses as well, which was amazing. The final look was like a leather jacket and it almost had, it almost looked as though it had been like hand painted. So some very cool designs as you will have just seen. So yeah, a fabulous afternoon and evening. I am now working, surprise, surprise, got my laptop out. I'm gonna enjoy taking off my makeup and I'm gonna get into bed. It's only eight o'clock, but I'm just gonna get into bed, catch up on some emails, writing blog posts and video editing, which actually sounds like a perfect evening. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. I want you more than my name I wanna float on downstream Go and find my wild dreams, yeah I'd kill to feel it all shake you like a twisted mind game I'll be burned by your flame, oh Ups and downs, no in-betweens Fire and ice, burn gasoline You know I love it You know I love it Love and hate, romantic sin Fire and ice gone with the wind You know I love it We're the kind burning blind Good morning, it is Wednesday morning. Today has started with a workout and then we've come to the beautiful spring restaurant in Somerset House for a breakfast with L'Occitane, which you just saw a few clips of. Now, um, we were hoping to take some outfit photos outside, but it is gross, so we're doing some inside instead. This is a behind the scenes of vlogger photo shoot. Ben and Katie are getting some snaps in this beautiful room. <laughs> Your eyes raise a sharp cut through the crowd. I don't even want to know your name. I just wanna keep you to myself. Stay with me or leave me be. I want you all to darlings it is now Thursday I must apologize that this vlog has been a little bit here there and everywhere with little snippets from basically every morning and then I get tired and forget to vlog in the afternoon so I'm really sorry this has been a bit of a mess of a weekly vlog um, but I haven't been feeling it too well as you might be able to guess from my voice um, I just think I've picked up a bit of a cold so I'm trying not to overdo it today I have just got out of the shower I had the most pampering shower sometimes when I'm not feeling well I just kind of have a bit of a pampering morning and I wanted to give a huge shout out to this. This is the Lime Basil and Mandarin Jo Malone London Exfoliating Shower Gel because I smell so good right now. It was really lovely and just a very, very pampering treat. So 
if you love indulgent showers, highly recommend that. Um, so the last clip you will have seen is an outfit style clip that I shot yesterday. I did a quick top changeover from what I was wearing in the morning to what I was wearing in the afternoon. Um, and that whole outfit was Karen Millen. Today, um, let me show you the state of this room. Because I've been a little bit tired, I've just kind of chucked stuff in this room and then shut the door and forget it, forgot about it. But this morning, I'm gonna tackle it. Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, there's like piles of laundry, there's blogger mail, there's goodie bags from events that I've been to. Um, so without further ado, I'm just gonna attack this room and get it tidy again. Cause I can't sit down and work on my laptop if the house is messy. So first thing I need to do today is just blitz this. <laughs> Some problems with your phone Tell me why you just can't play it on it You think you have the right I won't take it anymore Okay, excuse my frizzy hair I have just let it dry naturally And this is what happens um, the room is now pretty much tidy aside from what's on here, which is pretty much my blogger mail, I'll try not to flash you. Uh, so I thought I would show you a few of the highlights. First of all, um, there's this lovely new launch from Kiehl's and it is, I think this is an essence, part of your skincare routine, clearly corrective, brightening and soothing treatment water. So you can apply this after cleansing the skin, maybe in place of a toner. It's supposed to improve skin's luminosity and visibly improve the clarity and I think this has got anti-pollution filters in there as well. So that is going to go straight into my bathroom, I'll let you know how I get along with that. Then I had this rather fun delivery from Origins, it's Origins and Madeline Shaw's collaboration. They've sent this coconut and um, a kit to drill into it to, so that I can enjoy the coconut water. This is to celebrate the launch of a new face mask, which Charlie has already pinched from my blogger mail pile. It's a hydrating coconut face mask called Glow Coconuts, inspired by Madeline's love of coconuts. I'm sure this will be absolutely fabulous and smell divine. I have this really cute little Easter delivery from EOS. It's like an egg box and then inside are a selection of EOS lip balms but how adorable does that look so so cute we've got um we've got like a raspberry ripple one. Oh, actually it's one lip balm and loads of eggs okay that's really really cute nobody got time for dry lips so we've got loads of little personalized eggs and then a little eos lip balm that is so so cute i'm actually going to put this in a little goodie bag to send to my cousin i think she would really really like that um so if you're watching eloise and ollie may expect a nice little delivery from auntie josie soon then i have this lovely it looks like a glittery pencil case from um sally hansen this will be very useful for traveling and in Inside we have got Care Around the Clock, a little notebook that's personalised, it says Josie's Dreams, this is like a little dream, uh, dream journal. Then we have a gel rehab overnight renewal mask to help repair nails to pre-gel condition. That is amazing, as you probably know I have gel nails pretty much all the time and sometimes you have to take a break from getting your nails done because it's not very good for your nails, it really dries them out. So this is something that you can put on between your gels. That is such a good idea. It says advanced non-sticky nail mask infused with vitamins and overnight renewal complex to, re to reinforce damaged nails in between traditional gel manicures. Oh my goodness. I need this in my life. Very excited to try that. Thank you, Sally Hansen. I have also got this lovely little makeup bag, which is from the Elizabeth Arden and Lydia Millen collaboration. So when you buy three Elizabeth Arden products from the Boots, you get this beautiful little makeup bag. It's in my favorite blush pink shade. And I think it's, yeah, I think it's any three products you can buy and you get this free of charge with lots of lovely little goodies inside. So many of my favorites. There's a mini of the Superstart Serum, which which is just a brilliant product to put on your skin pre-makeup after cleansing. We've got some um, mini eye serum ceramide capsules and my all-time favourite, the evening ceramide capsules. These are just the most fabulous thing to pop in your travel bag. I love these little tubes as well, very, very handy for weekend breaks. A very big anti-aging cleanser from the Privage range 
also a little mini of the lipsticks all in this gorgeous case with a very beautiful there you are the beautiful mirror in the lid very very handy size so a beautiful collaboration i look forward to using that i've also received this bag this is from a website that i've told you guys about several times called artisan anything obviously very much inspired by the chloe bag it's an absolutely beautiful design i always think that this website the bags are such good quality this will be a gorgeous piece for my spring wardrobe i really love the design of the chloe nile bags so i'll get a lot of wear out of this one it's quite big it's bigger than my gold Sorry, just had to change my camera battery. Um, yeah, I was just saying how fabulous the quality of these bags are. If this had the word Chloe printed here, I literally would not be able to tell the difference between this and the Chloe Nile bag, but this is a fraction of the price. Huge fan of this website. I will leave this linked down below. I've also had a delivery from YSL. I have a selection of their new lip products here. I think these are called the Rouge Volupt Shine Lip Glosses. And let's have a little look. This is the shade, oh no, Volupte Liquid Color Balm. So maybe this is going to be a cross between a lip gloss and a balm, which would be amazing. They look very much like a gloss with the way that they are applied. In fact, let's just give this a go. I'm going to find a more neutral shade. This is shade number one. It looks like a neutral colored lip balm. Oh my god, they smell so good. <laughs> These literally smell like sweets. That smells absolutely gorgeous. Feels very like conditioning on my lips. I'm not sure... Um, how this would compare to a normal lip balm, but I'm going to wear this for the next few hours and I can comment back. I also have a delivery from Benefit. This says Gold Rush and then inside, ooh la la, we have got this gorgeous box and a new addition to the Benefit Blush family, which also comes in a mini. So Gold Rush is the new Benefit blusher. Hopefully it's a little bit pearlescent. I'm guessing it's going to be by the name. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely stunning. It almost looks like a cross between a blush and a highlight. And I really like to combine the two. I don't really like to go too overboard with a highlight. But I love to have a bit of sheen on my cheeks. So I think that's going to be amazing. I'm going to give that a try when I do my makeup today. And very handy that it comes in a mini as well. Great for travelling. Thank you very much, Benefit. I have this very crazy looking bum bag here, and this was sent to me um, from a brand called CYO, which is available at Boots. And inside is some very, very colorful makeup. We've got a really bright fuchsia lipstick. Um, equally bright, I think this is a lipstick and lip liner. Powder blush, all in this like super vibrant fuchsia color lip gloss, another lipstick, literally everything is this crazy bright colour. There's a slightly more neutral blush colour. So if you are into your very bright cosmetics, then this is available at Boots. I also have to show you these gorgeous pieces that I got at a meeting a couple of days ago. I met a company called The Wedding Shop and they are basically a wedding gift list company. So an amazing website where you can choose whether you want a gift or cash or something towards your honeymoon, a really, really lovely service. And they've given Charlie and I a little bundle of gifts, first of which is this beautiful scarlet, um, Elizabeth scarlet candle. And it's a lavender scented one, so that's going to be a really nice one for in the bedroom. A beautiful leather bound notebook that says moments of genius. This will be a nice handbag notebook And then it says wedding shop on the back and this I'm so excited to use This is from a brand called LSA. Charlie and I have quite a lot of their homeware pieces in the house and it's this beautiful Pearlized vase, which is such a good idea for an engagement gift or a wedding gift. Honestly, a lot of the time wedding gifts are for the couple's new house together so lovely things like this for the home make for gorgeous gifts this is absolutely beautiful it looks like a bubble so it's not too obviously pearlized which just means it'll look really really perfect in our lounge and then if we get any stems of roses or we could even collect some fresh flowers from not our garden we don't have many fresh flowers in our garden other people's gardens <laughs> just like little bouquets of snowdrops or daffodils at this time of year would look so so lovely in this a very thoughtful gift so thank you to the wedding shop and then lastly you might have spotted this bag in the background really really beautiful bag it's actually a guest handbag this is for me to use tonight because we are going to a party with amazon fashion this is available on amazon they have such an amazing selection of fashion pieces brands like guest michael calls tommy hilfiger coast so many brands that i absolutely love and um yeah they very kindly sent me this to wear tonight so you'll see this in amongst my outfit later on this evening i'm gonna crack on with some work now it's about 11 o'clock and i'm 
yet to do anything terribly productive aside from tidying this room which now looks gorgeous so I will see you a little bit later on. Okay it's a couple of hours later now I've just filmed this makeup look this is my everyday makeup look um, that I've just been reaching for and doing pretty much every single day lately uh, however I'm not actually sure if I'm going to publish it because I, as you can tell or hear, I feel very bunged up um, and I don't know, I just felt like I was really lacking in energy and it just wasn't very flattering so I'm not sure if I'm going to publish it. I really don't know how these girls produce so many amazing makeup videos. I just think they are so hard to film, like getting the lighting right, um, making yourself look good at all times. It's just really, really hard so I'm not sure I'm going to do it. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to publish it or not. So if you don't see a spring everyday makeup routine as part of the Fashion Mama Spring Edit, then that's why, because I filmed it when I was feeling very poorly. I've actually also just messaged the Amazon girls to say that sadly I'm not going to be able to make it to their event this afternoon because I feel like I'm so fluey, I just don't want to pass it on to anybody and I wouldn't really be much fun at an event like this. I think I'm just going to get in my pyjamas and work from the sofa for the rest of the afternoon or maybe stay as I am because, let's be honest, I'm already in my comfy clothes. This is the jumper that they sent me to wear tonight. It's Tommy Hilfiger jumper. Absolutely gorgeous. And I was going to wear it along with um, the guest bag, which I showed you earlier. So, um, yeah, I hopefully will find another occasion to wear them. They're such lovely pieces and always feel so bad for letting people down. But I think I just need to have some time to recover. So I'm going to head downstairs now and um, make myself another lem sip and hopefully get a little bit of work done. Good morning. It is Friday. It is the wettest, most miserable day you have ever seen. Let me show you. Oh, that is all I see right now. Grey skies looks blue but I promise you it's grey um, and I still have a little bit of a cold so I've actually been in my pyjamas most of the day only just got dressed I am dressed because I'm heading into town I have got an Elemis facial this afternoon and I'm going to go into a couple of shops I've got some Zara things to return thought I'd do a very quick outfit of the day this is my like zero effort outfit because I just want to be cosy so I've got my trusty Marks and Spencer um, chunky knit then my Reese coat, my Topshop scarf and then this is the guest bag that was kindly sent to me from the guys at Amazon Fashion. So they do sell guest bags on Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below. And then I've got my jeans and trainers. This is literally the most casual you'll ever see me, but um, worth it for the weather. So let's go. Okay, so this is officially the most depressing weather in the entire world. But if there's anything worth leaving the house for, it's an Elemis facial. I think this is to launch um, a new night product, but I will will let you know all about it when I finish the treatment. Just picked up a German juice, power shake, and now it's time to relax. So I'm in my robe in the penthouse of the House of Elemis. I've just been introduced to the new product. This is the Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix. I'll explain all about that later. I've also just had my skin analyzed. We're gonna do some treatments based around hydration, a little bit of blemish treatment, and lots of relaxation. This is how beautiful the penthouse looks. It's time to relax. Oh my goodness. I do not think I've ever felt so relaxed after treatment as I do now. So I fell asleep many, many times during that facial. It was so relaxing. Pretty sure I was snoring as well. There were loads of different parts to it. Um, there was a cleansing part, light treatment, loads of massage, absolute bliss, um, and finishing with the overnight matrix. My skin looks and feels very clear and fresh now. Um, I'm gonna get dressed, head downstairs, get a glass of water, and I'll catch up with you later. Just got back home from our honest burger, and not only have Dexter and Dickens been chewing Daddy's trainers and the Amazon Alexa box, and they've been taking all the clothes off the dryer. Mummy and Daddy's shoes. We've got clothes. What have you to say for yourself, you naughty boy? We've got clothes over here, and then. As you can see, they have shredded a bag of popcorn. Oh, you naughty boys, where did you even find this? Where did you even find it? I have never known a naughtier puppy in my entire life. I bet it was all you, wasn't it? It was all you. Oh, you bad boys.
of him trotting out of the kitchen with a huge bag of popcorn. You! Oh! Naughty boy! Naughty! So up in the bedroom now and these are a couple of pieces that I was very very kindly given at Elemis excuse my um, <laughs> cold and flu capsule tablets very kindly given by the girls at Elemis after my amazing facial this is a product that's launching it's a new addition to the pro collagen range which you guys know I am a huge 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 fan of and it's their overnight matrix so it's basically a night mask um, or night cream you can use it every single night and she was explaining that it has something in it called drone peptide technology and what that means is that the active ingredients in this like a drone kind of home in on the areas of your skin that need it so it's anti-aging it's good for stressed skin it's good for targeting wrinkles and fine lines these bad boys charlie has just handed me these another thing from the pro collagen range that we absolutely love so I'm going to apply a little bit more of this. I do already have some on my skin from after the facial, um, but we have been to Honest Burger, so maybe I'll just do a quick micellar water and apply some of that. And then this is their soothing candle. This is what I use most evenings, the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Oil. Absolutely love that. And the lady at the facial said that I could apply this first and then my matrix. So I will keep you guys updated as to how I get along with this because it is a new launch. And um, I'm not going to show you my face because I look really scary, but I am going to say good night. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to end the vlog here because it has been a long one. So um, yeah, I'm over there just so it's not totally <laughs> faceless. Yeah, I've got oils all over my hair, so I do look a little bit scary. But thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> I didn't know you were filming. Are you done? Did you think I was just studying talking to myself? I thought you were filming yourself. <laughs> I didn't think you were.